Greetings, true believers. I'm about to minimize my OBS studio window. Oh, by the way, it's Marcel. I'm sitting at my computer, which runs Linux. And uh, as you can tell, I did a uname A. Oh, actually, let me move that up because, you know, I know my face is down there somewhere. Uname A. And as you can see, uh, it's running, uh, what is it? Oh, it's 5.0 kernel uh, cat slash etc slash lsb dash, whoops, dash release. And uh, this is actually Peppermint OS release 10, which is basically uh, Ubuntu Bionic, okay? And what I want to show you today is um, I did a video a few days ago. I'll uh, try to put a link down uh, below here. And uh, where I unboxed my new Stadia controller. And in fact, I'm going to pretend that you can see it here because I'm holding it up basically in front of my face. This is my Stadia Founders Edition uh, in, you know, a beautiful uh, midnight blue Midnight Blue, how does that go? I can't even think how the song goes right now. I'm gonna have to go and check it out. Midnight Blue, something like that. Anyway, um, yeah, Stadia controller. And what I wanna show you is, because I'm running Linux, of course, somebody somewhere out there has gotta be asking the question, can I play my Stadia games on a Linux desktop? Well, here's the magical thing about Stadia. And by the way, I haven't bought any additional packages. I, I've just got the two games that came with it. And in case I have not mentioned this before, I am the world's worst gamer. Okay, maybe I'm the world's second worst gamer. Anyway, I'm going to show you Stadia running on a Linux desktop. How does that sound? You got it. That's got to be cool. Come on, come on. Admit it. That has got to be cool. Anyway, so here we go. I'm going to go over to the stadia.google.com slash home. And uh, there's the Samurai Showdown. I also have Destiny 2, uh, the collection. You know what? Let's go to Destiny 2. I, I, I suck. I don't know how to play any of these games. But basically, I'm running Google Chrome. And that's, strangely enough, what you need to be able to run uh, Stadia games on your PC. So you don't need like a high-powered desktop that's running... Um, uh, you know, so that you can run Steam. It doesn't have to be Windows or anything like that. It just works. Check it out, okay? So I'm going to click the play button on Destiny 2. And now we've gone full screen. Open the Stadia menu for friends, parties, and more. By the way, if you look at the Stadia controller over here, and hopefully I've got this right, uh, there is a menu uh, control over there. And then there's all sorts of strange little buttons. This one is just to take a screenshot, so you can take a screenshot of the action. And uh, I don't know, I, I don't know what all the buttons, I haven't quite figured out everything about this yet. Uh, headset connected and your mic is on. So there you go, so bungee, bungee, so let's take a look. Uh, again, press A to play. Keep in mind, I'm the world's second worst gamer, especially for some of these PC games, because I never play them. I, I play in uh, Oculus Quest and I play some lame games on my Android tablet, but you know, I don't play these high powered PC games. So there we go. So I just want to show you. Uh, let's fire up Destiny 2, which, by the way, I haven't really played yet. Um, so I don't really know how to play it. But uh, we're firing up the game. There we go. Theroticy, that's me. That's me. And I'm going to go. Uh, oh, I'm going to select my character as opposed to creating a new character. And um, let's see. Uh, here we go, and uh, by the way, I'm doing this real time, so I'm not actually uh, doing any funky Guardian. tricks with the game here. Guardian? Eyes up, Guardian. Wake up, Guardian. What happened? Work. You're alive. I'm alive. You don't know how long I've been looking for you. I, how I'm long have you been looking for me? Actually, now I'm your ghost, and you. Oh well, my! That's time. me. So you're going to see a lot of things you won't understand. I don't understand this game already. This is fallen territory. We aren't safe here. I have to get you to the city. All right. Hold still. Is that the city? Don't worry. I'm still with you. You need to move okay, fast. Uh, there's the city. All right. Presumably something will happen now. Again, I don't know this game. I'm just trying it out now. I made my character. That's as much as I've done. <laughs> There I am, new light, objective. What's my objective? My objective is enter the Cosmodrome. I'm going to assume that that thing up there this place is, an old is the Cosmodrome. Cosmodrome. Oh, there we a go. Russian spaceport. It's quarantined now, and quite dangerous. But our only way forward is through that wall. Oh, that changed, wait, okay, that changed my perspective. Whoa. Whoa, turning a little too fast there. I'm getting myself dizzy. 
I'm going to pretend that that's, uh, that's the city down there. That's the Cosmodrome. Because I, uh, I see the ghost thingy up there. Oh, oh hey. Oh, ho. Oh. Hey, I think I'm getting there. I think I've got this. Even oh, what did I do? Did I just do something weird here? Can I jump? Let's jump. Push the button. Push the button. Let's jump. Let's jump. I don't know how to jump because I don't know how to play. Oh, that's a crouch of some sort. Uh, uh, how does it... See, I don't know how to play this game. I don't know how to play this game. Um, uh, uh, okay, I'm going to go back this way, and I'm going to try to get back onto this... Uh, this uh, how do you jump? Oh, there we go. We That's how you jump. You push the A. The A jumps. The A jumps. Obviously, I don't know anything about this game. There we go. I'm going inside. I'm going in. Ooh, this looks like a spooky place. This looks like a spooky place. We don't need a ship. But first, I need to find you a weapon. Let's keep moving. Okay, get me a weapon. Get me a weapon. I don't. I don't know how to. Uh, oh, oh, oh! This doesn't look good. Oh, wait a minute. Does that look good? I thought that was a big bat. I thought there was a big bat up there. All right. I'm uh, gonna keep going. I know what I'm doing. Oh, ooh. ooh. Careful. They're all around us. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I'll just keep following that little white square thing. I guess that's my ghost thing. There he is. Find me a weapon. I need a weapon. It's a risk, but I'll get us more light. What do I do now? Wait, wait. Not happy to see us. Well, what do I do? Go this way. Okay. All right, I'm going this way. Pick up weapon. Let's hit the X. Pick up weapon. Oh, I got to hold it down. There we go. Okay. Now, how do I fire? I brought you back. Oh, there we go. <laughs> You're a warlock. Your curiosity is as dangerous as any weapon. So is it? My curiosity is dangerous. <laughs> Wait. Was that? Oh, that's my shadow. I'm shooting at my shadow. <laughs> Again, I don't know what to do. Oh, this doesn't look good. Ah! Bad guys! Bad guys! Bad guys! Shoot the bad guys! Shoot the bad guys! Shoot the bad guys! Shoot the. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? All right. Okay. I'm going to stop here. <clears throat> I'm going to stop here. By the way, to get out of a game, because this goes into full screen, what you do is you hold down the escape button for a few seconds. And there you go. Now I'm back out at this thing, and I'm going to say, uh, I'll just leave the game running in the background here, but I'm going to go back to OBS Studio here. And, um, oops, uh, actually, let me just minimize this. So there you go. There you go. It works. It works under Linux, and it works pretty darn good. And um, so, obviously, I could play it on the television using a Chrome Ultra and so forth, but a lot of people are doing that. Not everybody is actually playing this on a Linux desktop. And just for the record, the desktop that I am running over here, in case anybody is curious, uh, let's take a look at my free memory. I have 12 gig of RAM on this thing. Uh, this notebook is a Core i5 with an NVIDIA GeForce uh, 940MX, it looks like, card on it. So it's, a, it's just an Acer laptop. It's not the most powerful gaming PC in the entire universe, but um, the experience is pretty darn good. I guess I'm going to have to learn something about Destiny 2 and uh, maybe that Samurai one, the other one. Because uh, it came with my controller and uh, I need to learn to play these games. I need to learn to play these games. Anyway, that's it. So I'm going to go back to I'm going to bring it back up here. And uh, for the moment, I just want to say, if you like what I'm doing, uh, if you have comments, if you want to say something about this, please, please leave some comments. Uh, give me a thumbs up. Give me a thumbs down if you hate what I'm doing. And uh, please share with other people. And if you haven't already done so, please subscribe. <laughs> please, please. No, seriously. Seriously, I'd appreciate it. And I'd appreciate it even more if you just share the video with other people. But that's it. Stadia. 
Founders Edition controller. Uh, I'm assuming that you can see it here. I'm gonna go back to OBS Studio, there we go. Founders Edition controller, and uh, there it is. Founders Edition controller, Founders Edition controller, and uh, in nice midnight blue, and um, it works well. I'm relatively impressed, actually. Marcel, out, goodbye. I'm gonna go back to the game now. All right, back to the game.